Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Airlift Wireless Dual Path Air Compressor System. Now one of my favorite things about this system being wireless, it gives us the capability to make our adjustments outside of the truck. So that's really going to come in handy whenever we have a load on the back. You can come outside and kind of see how you're sitting. And if you need to increase the air pressure to level yourself out, you can do that right here. So say if you make an adjustment, compressor will kick on, raising the back end of your truck. You might say, okay, I need to take a little out or add a little more. You're able to do that very easily with a few clicks of a button. And that sure does make life a lot easier, being able to inflate and deflate your bags by the push of a button, as opposed to having to manually inflate your airbags with the traditional style Schrader valves every time you want to make an adjustment. You're not going to have to worry about bringing an air tank around, finding a gas station, something like that. With the kit, you still are able to maintain your manual inflation valves if you want to. That way you do have a backup device. But in my opinion, that's what these style Schrader valves are best for, is that backup. So this is what the whole compressor is going to look like. And this is definitely one thing that really separates it from some of the other compressors available. It's really compact. Everything is right here in one package. It's going to all be included and built onto this bracket, which allows you to mount it pretty much anywhere. And especially in these newer trucks, it's really challenging to find a spot to mount something. With this one, your options are a lot more open to where you want to mount it and find a spot that's best for you. This bracket, even comes with a U-bolt. That way you don't even have to drill in some cases. I have personally dealt with a handful of different types of wireless compressor systems. And honestly, this one impresses me the most for a few different reasons. How responsive it is, how quiet the compressor is, and how fast it fills the bags up. So we'll go ahead and just fill it up to 20 PSI. Just a few seconds, the compressor is gonna kick on compared to some of the other style ones where it's really delayed. You might have to wait 30 seconds or a minute. You're unsure if it's even working or not. It's really loud and so on. But this one, you can see, it put five PSI in the bags relatively quick. The compressor is going to work with any brand of airbag. Compressor doesn't care what brand it's hooked to. It just does one job, and that's to fill them up full of air. Now, it can fill the bags up from 5 all the way to 100 PSI, and it's virtually going to eliminate maintenance too. So what I mean by that is just about every airbag manufacturer does require a minimum pressure in their bags. And so if you come to our remote, we're going to have these three buttons, 1, 2, and 3. And those are actually presets. So what I like to do is preset number one, have that be my maintenance preset more or less. So that would be a number, usually the minimum amount your airbags require when you're not hauling anything. It's usually five PSI. Then that gives you two more to choose from. So two in our case is 20 and 30, and you can customize them to whatever you like. And that's a really nice feature for those of you that tow multiple different types of trailers, whether it be work trailers or anything like that. Let's say if you know one particular enclosed trailer, you know your truck pulls really good at 20 PSI, you set it up for that. You'd simply just have to push two and that will kick the compressor on and set it to that pressure. I'll say if you're pulling a triple axle trailer, large car, hauler, something like that, you know a little bit more pressure works good. You simply just hit your third preset and you don't even have to think about it. You just have to figure it out that one time, save them, and then you have them from there on out. So this is a dual path compressor. So what that means is it's gonna give you a lot of adjustability. So most of you would just use this for the rear airbags, at least in my experience. And so what this can do is adjust each side independently if you want it to. So like right now, you can see the small arrows here in the back of our truck. 
that means any adjustment we make it's going to fill both the bags up to that pressure let's say if we have an off-center load or something like that if you push over on the left side you see the left arrow just on one side that's going to allow you to set the pressure up or down just on that side so we'll give it a second to let it fill up over there same thing for the right you got that ultimate adjustability and what you can also do is set it up for front to back so some guys will have front airbags if they have a heavy snow plow or something like that and what you can do is run one of your airlines up to those front airbags and adjust the fronts as well as be able to adjust the rears all with one remote so what's really cool about this too is you're not going to have to solely rely on the remote to make all of your adjustments say you get home from work leave this in your pants pocket throw it in the laundry next morning you hop in the truck get to the job site and realize you forgot your remote what you're able to do is connect to the compressor via Bluetooth using your cell phone. So that's just a nice feature to have and a nice backup way to be able to adjust your airbags. So a nice touch too, not only our remote, but our phone can also do this, is give us diagnostics. So if you push down on the center button on our remote, hold it for a couple seconds, it'll pull up a menu, and it gives us a few options here, settings and kind of your basics. If you go down to troubleshooting and hit that, it'll pull up this menu. And since everything is working properly, it's not going to give us any codes or anything like that. But if you were to have an issue, if the compressor was malfunctioning, or even if you had a leak in the system, this menu would prompt you to make adjustments or help you find the issue more or less. So that's always a nice touch. Uh, to have in your back pocket if an issue does happen to occur in the future. So overall I definitely think that the wireless compressor system is a way to go especially in these newer trucks. Compared to the traditional style compressor systems that have a physical gauge these newer trucks have a lot going on on the dash and it can be extremely difficult to find a spot to get all that mounted. With the wireless systems you can either use it off your phone which is always in your pocket, and the remote doesn't take up hardly any space at all. You're not gonna have to worry about mounting this anywhere. You can simply throw it in the glove box, your cup holder, or even in the center console. And because of that, it's just gonna make your experience that much better and your life a little bit easier.